Hi, today we're going to talk about areas of triangles and quadrilaterals. Let's start with a rectangle. This is the formula for the area. We have four right angles and two pairs of congruent sides. So let's start with some exercise. So here we need to find the area, so we multiply 10 times 20. And for an answer we get 200 square meters. And now we have the area but we don't have a site. So what we need to do is the opposite of the formula. We need to divide this by this. And this gives us by an answer 8. So the measurement of this side is 8 meters. Now we're going to continue with a parallelogram. The parallelogram has the same formula, base times height. Let's do some exercises. This is the same, we need to multiply the height times the base. And this is 240 square meters. Now we don't have the height, but we have the area. So we should divide this by this. Our answer is 3 meters. So the height is 3 meters. Now we're going to make some trapezoid areas. This is a little bit more complicated. We have base 1 plus base 2 times the height half. So let's start. We need to fill in the formula. So we have area and half. The height, which is 10 times 5 plus 20. You should try to do this. Okay, our answer is 1 meters squared. 125 meters squared. Now we don't have bases, but we have a mid segment. For this, you need to do the height times the mid segment 20 times 8. The answer is 160 meters square. Now we're going to work with a triangle. The mm, formula is very similar. You always include the half. So let's try. We have base times height. Our answer is, always remember to put your in. And now we have the area without our base. 
So, we need to fill in the formula. We have the height, but okay, it's 5. So, our answer is 5. Now, we're going to work with a kite. This is considered like a sign. It goes through this half and then the other one goes it to the other half. This is the formula for the area. Let's work on some exercises. Here we will fill in the formula. Do you know the answer? The answer for this one is... ...160 square inches. Now, here we have the area, but we don't have the length of this base. So, we will also fill in the form. Try to find the answer. If your answer was 20 centimeters, it was correct. Now we will work with a rhombus. The formula is the same as the kite. Here we have an example. Our answer is twenty five meters square. Now let's work in this one. We don't have a length, but we have the area. So let's start. Try to make this. Our answer is sixty inches. So, this is all that we have for areas of triangles and quadrilaterals. I hope you learned something. Bye, see you next time.